everyone and welcome to Broadway Pictures Entertainment Show, BPE Spotlight. We are super excited to be here with you today. Uh, my name is Patrick Jerome, for those of you who don't know, and um, I am the executive producer of this show. We are in Thanksgiving and I don't know um, how much that I would express how thankful that I am to be around those two beautiful hosts we have for the film, <laughs> for the uh, show. <laughs> and uh, who's going to uh, introduce themselves, as you've been seeing them doing some interviews prior to this show. How are you doing today? Great, thank you. My name is Whitley Jordan, as you probably already know. <laughs> and? I'm, I'm Tavlu. And I'm great. <laughs> it just always does this to me, stares at me like <laughs> <laughs> way to start off Thanksgiving, right? <laughs> well, I guess, you know, this is the moon that we are in for. It's I mean I feel so grateful and thankful to be here with you guys. And um, it's just been such a pleasure to run Broadway Pictures Entertainment BP Spotlight, putting Performers, artists on the now spotlight. Now we're on the spotlight. Now we now are on the spotlight. spotlight. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to dish out all our secrets now. Yes. <laughs> so let's start. So what do we usually do for Thanksgiving? For me, I would say, you know what? Starting this show is one of the greatest things. Also, I had the opportunity to film a feature film that's going to be really soon. Uh, Go chase yourself. I'm very thankful. Uh, to that and uh, to my health and I know we've been through a pandemic and we are still going to it Hopefully it's gonna come to an end soon and uh, I'm grateful for all my friends and thankful to have them in my life and my family um, To be there for support. Um, I mean as we went through those difficult time and um, you know for us to keep going together and uh, hopefully everything will be you know fine in the near future Absolutely. I mean, I think um, <clears throat> um, Thanksgiving means a lot. It's different for everybody. Um, you know, you could go all the way back to um, the pilgrims coming here, you know, in the, um, in the United States. And um, it's just like there's so much history there. I feel like, um, you know, you have to look what Thanksgiving really means. And right. um, so I think... For me, I'm, I'm very thankful for very similar things that you said, Patrick. Family, you know, um, be able to appreciate the people you're with, your loved ones. And um, there's a lot of um, you know, crazy things happening in the world. <laughs> so yeah, um, for you to be able to wake up every day and to have the air to breathe and to have your loved ones close to you, I think that's... Um, that's what I'm most thankful for, um, you know, because this season, um, we usually, you have to think of like the homeless people who don't have food to eat and they don't have homes. And sometimes you're so fortunate and, and, and you have to be grateful that you, you're not one of those people. So, um, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. that's some of the things that I'm very yeah. Yeah. thankful for. Yeah, um, so same, same with me. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much thankful for my family, my friends that are around that support me through everything, you know. Um, I'm really thankful that, you know, my family surpassed pandemic somewhat. It's still around, but, you know, we're all healthy, and that's what counts right now. Um, and that we can be able to do what we do still, you know. Um, even though, you know, a lot of people struggle now financially. Absolutely. Um, I can't imagine like artists now, you know, going through this and trying to survive. Uh, but uh, it's a good thing that I, I see that, you know, a lot of artists are, are still picking up and going forward. Movies are still going, you know, mm -hmm. and we're not dying. So I think that's a good thing to say. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yes, I, I want to remind everybody you're watching BPE Spotlight, and this is a weekly show. And we are trying, you know, our best every week to bring you uh, new content and uh, to make sure that we, we entertain you as much as possible and give you as much information to what we are doing as well. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can send us an email at bbespotlight at gmail.com for any comments or suggestions you may have for us. And don't forget to um, start putting it on your calendar, on your schedule, to watch Go Chase Yourself, which is our movie that is coming soon, mm -hmm. 
um, in the near future. So um, what else you want to tell us about Thanksgiving? So what are your plans? Are you cooking? What's, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> so I, I guess with Thanksgiving, what, what are some of the traditions, I guess, that um, Probably we do? Turkey, right? Turkey. Well, I mean, for me, to be honest with you, my, my family, my mother, this is where we go every Thanksgiving. You would find the entire family there. Yeah. You know, it's like, as you know, you know, the Haitian, mm -hmm. you know, meal and, and get together. So this is my plan. This what is do you usually have on be. the table? <laughs> what kind of food? Do you ever know? Of course, of course. We would have turkey and then we have all different kind of, actually everybody in the family cooks something. Right, right. So I have three sisters that usually bring different dishes. But what dishes do you bring, Patrick? <laughs> <laughs> you bring yourself? I usually, you know what? I, <laughs> I, I, I would usually bring the drinks. Okay. And oh. then uh, actually one of my sisters, she, she baked cake really well. Nice. Mm -hmm. So uh, we always look forward to what she, you know. Um, She's going to make. Yeah. Yeah. So what about you, wife? Well, um, I don't cook. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. I'm the one, let me tell you. So I'm the one that um, I, I go, I do this thing called, I order. <laughs> no, no, I, 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 I house hop. Oh, so, um, that's actually a good idea. I never thought of that. I used to live in California for uh, about five or six years. Mm -hmm. So when I um, so I didn't have like my my original or my family there with me. So um, it was difficult to spend Thanksgiving by myself right. because growing up, I would al always have mom, dad cooking, and it's like the whole camaraderie. Your sister's there eating. Yes. And, so I didn't have that. So what I used to do is. Um, go to my friend's house. So I'll go to one house, eat a little bit there, go to the next one. So when I came back to Boston, yes, so when I came back to Boston, that's exactly what I would do. And I'll bring my little Tupperware. Oh, it's so bad, right? So I'll bring my little Tupperware and I'll go to like a friend's house and they'll have like the turkey, the whole, you know, uh, on paise, which is fried plantain, <laughs> right? They'll have the, you know, fried turkey, plantain, that means. <laughs> you know, whatever. So they'll have all the food and then you'll eat. I get stuffed up and then, okay, guys, I got to go. You know, I, put some, it. I pack it up in my little Tupperware, put it in the, in the car. I go to the next friend's house, bring my top. Hey, guys, you know, <laughs> eat a little bit there. Same thing. All right, guys, got to go. Top. So usually I would do that three, three houses. Then, oh my goodness. Um, yeah, <laughs> Call it a day. That's awesome. Actually, you know, in our culture, I, I know you are from Haiti as well. Mm -hmm. um, you know, during the holiday season, that's something that used to be very common in, in Haiti. Mm -hmm. Where, like, especially at the end of the year, when you go to, like, um, you know, Christmas Eve, New mm -hmm. Year's Eve, you know, you know, the Independence Day for Haiti is January, January 1st. 1st. Yeah. And then. Um, and then January 2nd is the day of the veterans, like all the soldiers, you know, mm -hmm. that fight, you know, the independence war. So people go from house to house mm -hmm. visiting. And then, uh, sure you know, have there. yes, on January <laughs> right. 1st, we have Squash. the Subjumu. Yes. <laughs> But I have to say, it's not as popular in Haiti. I mean, you know, Thanksgiving, of course, it's yeah. for the United States. Mm -hmm. But in a way, we kind of celebrate it in a way in a small approach. Mm -hmm. But I think with that going from house to house, you mentioned with that concept, it's so definitely, I can see the Haitian blood in Coming you. out, right? <laughs> and I didn't even know that. That's really good Yes, to know. yes, yes, it's very Would popular in Haiti. That's, I know, but let's, I, I feel like looking back, I'm like, that's so bad. Like, how could you, it's like, you know, but, <laughs> If you were by yourself, what, what are you going to do? You have to visit your friends. Right. Those are your family too, right? Right. Do yeah. you do that? Oh, no. I do <laughs> I'm the one who cooks and people come and they pack it for me. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. wow. Yeah. Um, I should plan to go there then. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. I, I, I did. I, I made a huge Thanksgiving dinner one time and I did it from scratch wow. and it took me forever and I wanted to make it perfect. You know, I, I made the pies and everything. Um, I just that time no one helped me i don't know why and and i have a huge family mm -hmm. they were out doing their thing Shopping. drinking mm -hmm. maybe that was you <laughs> <laughs> they were just drinking somebody brought a lot of drinks they were just drinking they left me in the kitchen and wow. from that day i just was i vowed i'm never gonna do thanksgiving again. you see this is what i've gotten from my hopping around houses right 
is that when you're doing the cooking right. and you're hosting Thanksgiving, right. you're left with all of the, the mess. mess and the right. cleanup. When you're hopping, you don't have to clean. You don't have to clean. You're going to try that this year. Your stomach is full. <laughs> well, I'm not sure if we should encourage. <laughs> I'm not sure if we you know, encourage people to do that. I think it's, they have to make sure that they help you know, well, each other and, and clean, clean up the mess after. I didn't say not help, but <laughs> I say those are the advantages. You have some advantages yes, and Yes, it sounds good, but, but, you know, but anyway. Um, I mean, I think the, the, I mean, for the audience watching us today, we are grateful that you are you know, watching us uh, in this you know, Thanksgiving holiday, and uh, which we are very happy and grateful to bring you um, on this show, like I said, on a weekly basis. And we are hoping that you are having a wonderful Thanksgiving as well with your family and close one. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be back shortly after those announcements. Coming soon on the Big East Spotlight. I started from theater in the Great Boston area. Uh, What's the name of the theater? Sethu State Ensemble Theater Unit. Getting into a new thing. Or should I say chatting with people? Oh, stop it. <laughs> you know, we're just chit chat here. What's your talent? What's your art? What do you do? I'm a jack of all trades and a master of some. <laughs> and, uh, we bring all of these talents here on BPE Spotlight to share the contributions of spectacular work they've done. We're here every week, so feel free to check us out. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and if you like it, share it with your friends. Rob, with your record, if you get caught, life sentence for sure. You have to come to the station with me. What? You would need witnesses as well. Here we go. I'm on my way to meet up with the love of my life. I think you should come home now, Maria. In any ways, you know how I feel about this whole trip. What is it doing? And all I keep getting from you is that you're not happy and that you just keep trying to change me. Walk away from me and tell me that that's what you want. I finish this conversation, Rob. I'm trying to talk to you. You keep running away from me. I just mess with the team. Oh, come on. You're fighting yeah. forever. You're going to bring us all down. And I'm not ready for the jail. What's happening again? What's happening again? Mom, it was so scary. It was an announcement. Hello everyone and welcome back to our show, Broadway Pictures and Entertainment, BPE Spotlight. And um, as the creator of the show, the host, executive producer, producer, we are <laughs> on the spotlight today. So Thanksgiving is here. I mean, you know, the day after Thanksgiving, we always talk about, you know, Black Friday, you know, mm -hmm. are you guys doing, planning to do any sh big shopping yeah. in, uh, for, for that day? I mean, for me, I, <clears throat> we usually just kind of hang out at the house and just spend time with family after because I think, you know, Turkey does this, there's this thing in Turkey, when you eat it, it gets you tired. Yeah, when you're at home. I, uh, there's a word. That. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's something in, in the meat, I guess, when you eat it, it makes you feel tired. And, you, you know, all this carb and so, I don't know, like in, in the Haitian culture, whenever you do have Thanksgiving, you have to have rice and beans with it. I don't know. Yes. Yeah, we have rice. You always have yeah, to have always rice. You gotta have rice. Right, it's not the traditional mashed potato gravy, you know, cranberries and stuff like that. Like, we have rice, like a regular meal, plantains. And you, I mean, I think there's no rules with Thanksgiving, right? No, there's no rules. My well, family, I'm, you just yeah, fried I'm, rice. Yeah. <laughs> everything on the table and whatever your, you know, mac macaroni and cheese, whatever. Mm -hmm. yeah, pe I mean, people always talk about overeat, like, you know, people eat too much and uh -huh. they just, That's me. They, they, you know, they consume <laughs> that much calorie. And um, I mean, well, yeah, I mean, if you feel your belly is full, I mean, you have to stop well, at no. some point, right? Something like that happened to me. That happened to me. I learned my lesson. Really? I learned my lesson. <laughs> you know, I was telling you guys about me hopping from one house to another. Yes. Wow, let me tell you this story. One day I decided to um, actually help out at a homeless shelter, right? 
So, um, you know, I just wanted to do something good, like thanks, you know, thanks, um, be thankful for, you know, what I have and whatnot. So I was like, let me help out a homeless shelter. I go in, help down and everything, and I ate my butt off. I mean, everything and, you know, from sun up to sundown, I ate. And then after that, I went home, and guess what I did? House hopped. Yeah. <laughs> to my friend's house. And Keep I ate stopping the from one drink. place to another. You know what I think it was? In my head, I was like, Oh, let me just eat for like two or three days. Like that's physically not possible, right? <laughs> <laughs> but I ended up doing that. I, I went can from see one what's house. coming. Oh, it was not good. <laughs> I went from one house to another until I was just like super, super full. So anyway, I went home that day, sat down, and uh, I tried to sleep. And my belly was so full that I was just like, Oh no, this is not. This is not good. Well, and then I got up, and before you know it, everything was coming. I was throwing up from, like, I was in the toilet. I was throwing It was oh a my hot goodness. mess. <laughs> wow. So you think I learned my lesson that day? No. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> the next Thanksgiving, I was happy. But I think what happened was I got, ended up getting food poisoning. Oh, yeah, so, so, well, that's something people have to be careful about, yeah, too. You yeah, know? So. I mean, you didn't never know when things like that are coming. Yeah. But anyway, thanks but, for sharing. Yeah, wow, I mean, it's a little is, embarrassing, but, you know. <laughs> Whatever. But we usually don't end up going to like um, Black Fridays or anything like that. It's just like, you know, in a normal Thanksgiving, we just stay home, just relax. So you don't do Black Fridays. No Black Fridays no. for us. How yeah. about you, Tom? I used to. My family is a shopaholic. Wow. Yeah. So when Black Friday comes, it's almost like a gang. We like, we make plans and we, you know, like we're taking the van and all the women are coming, any teenagers, whatever, whoever. And we're going to go out there, we're going to sit there until they open the doors. Wow. Yeah, it's almost, it's crazy. But what has been the best thing that you've gotten from Black Friday? It's like, I actually, I, I, I got a television. It was a Sony television. Remember? But this was, I don't know how we did this, but it was like probably two days before Black Friday. Mm -hmm. And they, they posted, you know, it's going to be on sale for Black Friday. We purchased it that day. And then on Black Friday and went on sale, mm -hmm. and they told us just to bring the receipt back, and they'll give us the price. Yeah, well, that's so I didn't have to deal with Black Friday people. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. So wow. no elbow hitting, no, no. Deep tripping people or anything. Thank God like I have never encountered with any of those people. Yeah. I don't know what I would do. <laughs> I don't think that's true. I don't think it really happens. No, no. All the stuff they put on the television, you see people like jumping and yeah, hurting. yeah, or just fight. Yeah, I don't. Well, I think it does happen. I mean, if you go to some mall to some stores, you see the big line of people line up, you know, to take I, advantage I did, of this special yeah, discount. Yeah, I did experience that. that. <laughs> not, not physically, like, craziness, but, like, you know, there's just, like, one item there, and I was about to grab it. Somebody just walks right by and grabs it out of my hand. I'm just like, oh, my God. Oh, my yes. God. Thank you for that. And it's so funny how people go crazy about those special discounts. You know, but, but it is amazing. But for Thanksgiving, do you guys have like, I mean, in my family, sometimes we have this uh, tr uh, tradition to watch our special movies, mm. the one that the entire family enjoy. Right. You know, we always have some, you know, French movies or sometimes we have relatives who come from Haiti who haven't seen some of my films. I remember mm. last Thanksgiving, we play uh, the movie uh, Woodless Gang, which we just had a presentation uh, at the Boston College uh, for, for, for the students then on November 11, mm -hmm. this past no November 11. Mm -hmm. So um, last uh, Thanksgiving, we, we had people coming from Haiti, so we played the movie, actually Thanksgiving before last. Okay. Um, I think it was in 2019, so we ended up playing the movie, everybody gathered together, and right. then it was a reminder because the movie was made in 1990, wow. a long time ago, 1990, 1991. So that was super special. That's one of the mm. things we usually do as well. Mm. Do you guys watch any special? I do you have any? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your tradition sounds much better than mine. <laughs> um, no, we, we basically just hang out um, right after and just, you know, kind of conversate and see who, how, how everybody is doing. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know about this year. You know, since pandemic to now, it's going to be kind of weird. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, but I think everybody will probably just hang out with each other, you know, um, and kind of find out how everything's going mm -hmm. since the pandemic, you know. It's, it's kind of harsh, a lot of things that have happened and now. A lot of changes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. you watching your movie. 
Yes. Well, yes. In my household, um, it changes every year, um, depending where I am with Thanksgiving. So sometimes... <laughs> Which house? <laughs> I know. So if you're hopping around. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> um, but sometimes, like, if it, like, when, when I was growing up, before we will play games, you know, like right. Monopoly or something like that, watch a movie, um, or just, like, you know, like, you, you'll play with the nieces and nephews. I think kids... Like they make the holidays, yeah, you know. They, do. they make the holidays, and um, so it depends on the time frame because we'll do that off watch football. You know what I mean? So all of these are like it, it changes. It's not like something set in stone. This year, um, we're probably just gonna hang out at the house and watch yeah. a movie. Yeah, you yeah. know, sounds good. Possibly play some charades or yeah. a few games or something, some, some, something like that. So. Yeah. All right, so thank you everyone. We are very um, happy to share uh, these little moments with you on Thanksgiving. Don't forget you are watching BPE Spotlight. So we, the creators, the host, the executive producer, we are on the spotlight tonight. It's such a pleasure. Patrick, Before we go, what are we hopeful I wanted for? to ask the viewers, actually, <laughs> yes. to put some comments and tell us some of your traditions and some of the maybe horror stories or interesting <laughs> yes. stories that you might have. Uh, yes, shoot us an email, BPE Spotlight. Below. Yes, BPE yeah. Spotlight at gmail.com. That's how you can reach us. Do that right now. Mm -hmm. uh, we we'll definitely um, would like to hear from you and how you are enjoying this special moment. What are we thankful for? And uh, once again, thanks for being with us. And uh, what are we hopeful for for next Thanksgiving? Mm -hmm. We're talking about Thanksgiving 2021. What about 2022? For wow. me, I would like to see, uh, I hope we are done completely with the pandemic and we yeah. go to a very peaceful time. Amen so to we that. go back to our fine. routine, yeah. to our normal life. That's what we are aiming for. And for us at Broadway Pictures Entertainment, we hope to keep producing film, mm -hmm. to keep producing this show and uh, bring our vision to life, share our passion, our stories to the world. And um, we have uh, the, the short film that we're gonna have a special for you on Christmas Eve. It's called It's Christmas Time. We just shot it and we are looking forward to share it with the world. So we are hopeful for many things coming up in the future. We want to see life in a positive way. I strongly believe in the power of positive thinking. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are looking for, I'm looking personally forward to share my vision with the world. That's what I'm ho hopeful for, for next Thanksgiving. That's about awesome. You? Well, I, I don't, I, I'm just going to piggyback on you, Pat, you know, I'm just going to jump on that horse. <laughs> um, you said it in yeah. a nutshell. That's, um, that's really what I'm hopeful for. The pandemic needs to go. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what everybody yeah. wants. Yeah, normal, normal yeah. 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 Good health and normal I said it all. <laughs> all right. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to send us our comment once again. Our email is bpspotlight at gmail.com. Uh, our movie, Go Chase Yourself. You know, make sure you make plan to watch it this holiday season and uh, at any time in the future. And also subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so yet. And uh, let us know about your advice. Once again, we are thankful to be in your company. We are grateful to be in your company. Thanks for watching this show. See you in the next week or so. Thank you.